Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Reece Deans, I am the host of the Deansy Boy Show, and I'm just currently watching Pete Dunne versus Mark Andrews in the semi-finals the, for the WWE UK title. Right? I'm not going to go into so much detail. I, I was going to record this at the beginning of the match, but I just never got around to it. So, right now, I'm watching it. Uh, so this is going to be the live reaction, and also uh, we'll be showing you great moments. And oh, you see on YouTube, don't worry. And I'm on my knees as well. I haven't got a chair. I've seen Pete Dunn and Mark Andrews live so many times in the Walker Bell in Cardiff and Cates in Bristol. I've seen them all, and they're, they're both brilliant competitors, brilliant wrestlers. And in my heart, I I do want Mark Andrews. To go into the final and win the title because he's 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 from Cardiff. He's a Welsh boy, but Pete Dunne, in my head, Pete Dunne, you know, he he deserves a lot of potential, a lot of credit for what he's done uh, in professional wrestling, and he's he's perfectly capable to be in the um oh nice one at the end oh there you are. yeah he deserves it deserves it in the WWE deserves to be champion as well. Yes, he has. <laughs> I need a toilet now. Extra rotation. But he oh, wow. that's brilliant. <laughs> no, I've, I've seen worse. Ooh, shooting star. Not on the top of though. Oh, good catch. Oh, is he going for What's this? What's he doing? Oh, super, suplex. On the side, on the edge. What a series of maneuver attempts there. You see, that time there, it's, it just sounds like you suck dick. Whether they're saying that or not, I, I, I do not know. If they're saying bruiser weight, then, then, then no, it does sound like you suck dick. See, people are complaining about uh, the fans doing the turn thing when when the referee is um, is counting, but I, I don't see any problem with it. Let the fans have the, have their fun, you know, the pig of money. And oh, was that DDT? Oh no, I don't know what he done there. Oh, Bruiser. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, oh. What, what happened there? See, what I'm seeing is when he did have reversible suplex, whatever he done, on that ring ramp. I, I, I don't know because Mandrews landed on Pete Dunne. Right, he made it to nine. Made it to nine. Come on, Andrews. See, see, I, I, I also want Andrews to win, not because he's Welsh, but it's because that um, if you have a look in the WWE, uh, Scottish wrestlers, English wrestlers, and Irish wrestlers always get recognition. I know that when they had Drew Galloway or Drew McIntyre, 
he didn't have a good run. Well, basically he did, I mean, he won, I think he won a tag team title, he won the Intercontinental title, and, um, and, I, and I was brilliant. Oh, what a stunner! What a counted stunner! And the reason why I want Mandrews to win is because, you know, I've, I've only heard, only heard that Mason Ryan, he was, I think, not the only Welsh wrestler in, uh, in, in WWE, but he, he didn't have a good run. Um, you know, and you hear the likes of Agent Street, who, uh, who, um, was one of the famous British Welsh wrestlers ever, and I don't think he ever did appear in WWF. But this is why I also want Mandrews to win because he's um, he's a he's a big it, it'll be a big change, and it, it gives Welsh wrestling recognition. And for Mandrews to actually win that title as well, it, it's it's a perfect opportunity. But if if I were WWE, they they would do um, let Pete Dunne win. Superplex, I would say. But I don't know. Again, Andrews counters, and he sits back. And what is whoever wins this match? What are they going to have left in the finals? See, I'll do a podcast episode as well um, this week. Hats off to Andrews. He's still Come on. I don't know how Mark Come Andrews on. is surviving, and perhaps going to put Don away. Andrews. Shoot star. Oh, I need to the guts. And go show when I do support going into my drawers. Now I have to dig deep. See? Oh, it's a little bit for me. I was going to hang it up, but I saw the drawer. Oh, what a kick. Oh, forearm! I'm trying to hang this up. See, here we go. Oh! Reflection! Oh! Is it catching up? I'm more worried about I am. Oh, that, that, that'll do. Yeah, that's nice there. I think, they, I think this is where this point now is, is, is building up and now Peter's going to come back. He's like, Ugh. No, see, here we go. Jim is suplex into the corner. Now watch this now. You'll pick him up, put him in, in bitter ends. Bitter ends. Here we go. See, here we go. He's gonna. I, I think he's gonna go for the move. Um, I think he's using Attack Pro. Yeah. Yeah. Peter, Pete done. See, I told you. But all, in all, Pete Dunn deserves to. Um, apart from Mark Andrews, that I said about. Welsh uh, wrestler and everything. Pete Dunne deserves, deserves to win it. But if they do a cheeky little twist that Tyler Bates will get to the final and he'll win it, then I'll be very... Hey guys, I have to conclude this video on a sad note here as there have been announcements that the one of the greatest high flyers in professional wrestling, Superfly Jimmy Snooker, has sadly passed away at the age of 73. The WWE Hall of Famer Superfly Jimmy Snooker has left a tremendous mark in professional wrestling. We will never forget the moments that he has, he has had in the world of professional wrestling, such as the Piper's Pit with Rowdy Rowdy Piper, and especially that Superfly Splash in Madison Square Garden in a steel cage match when he done that splash onto Don Morocco. And also he's had many tremendous battles over the years, including the likes of Rowdy Piper, Don Morocco, The Undertaker at WrestleMania 7. And there's so many memories to talk about Superfly Jimmy Snooker that I do not begin where. I, I do not know where to start it. But right now, I'm just going to leave a tribute to Superfly Jimmy Snooker and just say that he was one of the fantastic professional wrestlers ever, one of the greats. And now, I leave a tribute to the one and only, 
Superfly, Jimmy Snooker. Super, super, super fly.